right, well, as Ben said, he went down to the press conference yesterday where the government released a whole a kind of progress report on some of the things that it set as it go, its goals or targets for this government. And one figure that didn't look so good was particularly the violent and domestic crime figures, which haven't come down. In fact, they seem to have gone up, which was somewhat counter to the narrative that was being put out on Sunday by the police minister, Mark Mitchell, who said street crime or crime in inner city Auckland had dropped, not mentioning that crime everywhere else appears to, go, to have gone up. So what is the issue? Are things getting better or worse? We're joined now by the Police Minister, Mark Mitchell. Uh, Minister, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Sean. OK, look, I'm going to just come out and ask you, was Sunday's press conference all because you knew that Monday's press conference was coming? No, not at all. I mean, they, they, they are quite two different things. Number one is you're talking about family harm. Family harm is very contained. It's exactly what it is. It's within a family. Um, and that police can't solve that on their own, obviously. That's uh, more of a social investment type approach with you know, the right agencies and multiple agencies sort of dealing with that, it's often intergenerational harm. So that's one thing. What I was talking about is crime on the streets, that the public are tied up in, that the public are facing, whether it be um, antisocial behaviour, violent behaviour, um, you know, and, and obviously our CBD has been a big issue. And uh, I've been very focused on making sure that we bring everyone together in a joined up and aligned strategy to deal with it. And we're seeing some early signs of success. And that's what we were talking about. All right, so things are better for Jaffers, but overall around the country, is violent crime going up or down? Well, I mean, <laughs> Jaffers are important too, Sean. Uh, but, but, but look, we, the, it isn't just focused on Auckland. The reason why we focus in on the Auckland CBD is because obviously that had become a really big issue. It was worse than anywhere else. We've had a big focus on Wellington with increase in beat officers there, a big focus in Christchurch, our provincial towns, um, right across the country, um, we've seen a change in policing in terms of back to basics, trying to get back on the core role, making sure that our gangs are being policed properly, and they are, making sure that we're clamping down on the boy races, and we are, and they, they impact and affect rural and provincial um, communities more than um, Jaffers and Auckland. Um, so, yes, so there's, there's very good policing going on all around the country. Yeah. Um, one, of the, one of the measures that we're using to, that we're using as a measure is the is the um, justice uh, sector um, crime survey. Um, and that has a big lag time. That goes right back to 2022. Um, so, you know, the, so, and, and in relation to family harm, like I said to you, that is stuff that happens inside people's homes. Police are not in people's homes all the time. Mm. Um, and that's a, that's a cross-agency approach to start to get on top of that. All right. Look, been, I have to a say, uh, from for a very personal yeah. point of view, the beat... Constables in Manor Street, where this office is, yep. where I broadcast yep. from, have made a significant difference in a very short amount of time to the Thank tenor you. and tone and the number of, to be frank, um, uh, aggressive beggars hanging around this part of Wellington. But equally, I hear they've all just moved up the road to Cuba Street um, and there are still a few of them. But that was such a simple solution that have been sitting there staring at this city for so long that you just get a couple of police to walk up and down. And my understanding is they've also trespassed people who have been aggressive vagrants. Um, they're actually taking some action. Why on earth did it take that long for such simple solutions to be enforced, Minister? Look, we haven't reinvented the wheel. So you're, you're absolutely right. It's just back to basics policing and getting our police back out on the beat and highly visible reassurance. They take ownership of their patches. They know where the trouble areas are and they deal with it, and that's what they've been doing. And um, and look, in terms of, um, you know, cer certainly the CBD, and I'd be surprised if it's not happening in Wellington and Christchurch as well, is that we're working with MSD um, and KO, and a lot of the people that were in emergency housing are now in more appropriate housing, and that's dealing with a lot of the vagrancies and the rough sleepers and the antisocial behaviour mm. um, that we were seeing as well. All right. Um, look, last time you were, and maybe one of the reasons we haven't been doing that basic policing is before the change of government, we were doing woke policing and uh, some would say two-tier policing. Um, and part of that, of course, is the claim that we have a systemically racist police system. Last time you were on this program, we talked about a report that you simply rejected and didn't agree with and you expressed the view that no more work should be done on that project. We have since had a senior police officer come on here, 
completely disagree with you and tell me the work is ongoing and he's doing what the commissioner tells him to. I asked him why they'd done all this work and he said, oh, because black lives matter. I don't know if you heard that interview, but I wonder if you can clarify your statements last time you were here that that particular project, which involved that report about systemic racism, that that has been stopped or hasn't been stopped because the police tell us it hasn't. You told us that you thought there was no more work being done on it. Yeah, well, I sought some advice after that interview I had with uh, that last interview I had with you, Sean, and um, that is the police commissioner's um, report that was commissioned while we were in opposition, um, and it remains his report. And from what I understand, they are in the final stages of it and wrapping it up. Um, which well, well, hang on. Hear. So, is work and, continuing uh, on that line of work, which included the report? Well, well, I think that I'm not sure, but I think there's one final, um, uh, yeah, there's one, there's one final action that's required to close it out. Um, and, and what I is that action? That, I'm not sure. I think it's just a final. It's a wrap up um, of, of the report. The report. It's, it's not uh, implementing changes. No, 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 no. It's just a, um, it's a, just a wrap up of the report. But, but look, like I said to you, it's. Um, so you're it's telling us that policeman we spoke to said, "Oh, we're only you know four or five." Uh, steps into a nine-step process, you're telling me he's got it completely wrong? Well, I haven't seen... Um, I don't know what he said, uh, but I'm just reporting on, back on the conversations I've had with um, the commissioner on it. 